When using Lux inverters, you may have the following question. This phenomenon occurs because reactive power is involved in the load. Reactive power is the part of the total power in an AC circuit that is associated with the energy stored and released by inductive or capacitive elements, rather than being converted into work. It is essential for the functioning of certain electrical devices, such as transformers and motors, which require a magnetic field. Here we demonstrate an experiment on this phenomenon. This experiment uses a load bank as the load. Battery as the inverter side energy source. The grid is connected to the inverter grid terminal. The electricity meter and clamp current meter respectively detect the measured power and current of the grid. The monitoring page shows the energy flow of the system. Set up the experimental system to operate the inverter in a self-consumption mode, with an initial load of 500 watts. The reason for reactive power at this time is that the inductive or capacitive components in the inverter need to compensate for reactive power. Adjust the load bank. Increase the load to 1 kW pure resistive load, the system is in self-consumption mode, the load energy is supplied by the battery. Monitoring page indicates that only the battery supplies 1 kW, at this point it is observed that the power meters P less than 20 W, the reactive power Q is maintained at around 150 VAR, and the clamp meter measures the current to be 0.9 amps. Continue to increase the load to 2 kW pure resistive load and monitor update to 2 kW battery power supply. It is observed that the power meters P less than 20 watts, the reactive power Q is maintained at around 150 VAR, and the current measured by the clamp meter is 0.9 amps. Add 400 VAR of reactive power. At this point, the data monitored barely changes, the power meter shows an increase of about 400 VAR in reactive power, and the active power remains almost unchanged. The clamp meter reading increases to about 2.39 amps. Continue to add 800 VAR of reactive power to the load. The monitoring data still shows no significant change, the active part of the meter remains unchanged, the reactive power increases to about 1 kV, and the clamp ammeter increases to about 5 amps. Based on the observations from the above experiment, we can conclude that when the system is in normal self-consumption mode and does not need to draw power from the grid, the inverter system meets the active power demand of the load, while the grid compensates for the reactive power demand of the load. The fluctuations in the current from the grid side are caused by the reactive power compensation of the load. Under household storage conditions, reactive power is typically not included in the cost of power loss.